What is up everyone? It's Demolition Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do a new car video and an update video. And it's Derby Day guys. So this car, I've done no videos on. This one is for my girlfriend. She'll be running this one today. Uh, kinda was not really a last minute build, but there was just so much going on. I had no time to uh, get down and do some videos on it. Basically, I had the stock motor in this. It had a knock. I ignored it just because I thought maybe it would be fine. It would be good enough to just get to the derby and go and have some fun. Well, I was wrong. Uh, the motor blew up about a week before the derby. Uh, she threw a rod right out to, of the bottom of the oil pan. So she was basically junk. So I ripped that motor out and slid uh, the motor that was out of the truck into it. That wasn't the only car I worked on this week, guys. So I built her a car. I fixed the car for a buddy. I don't have any videos on that either, but I'll do an aftermath video. And I got my car ready for today. So three cars in a week, getting them done. Huh, a lot of late nights, guys. Are you guys ready to see what I got going on here? Here we have a 1986 Bonneville. Uh, I believe it's a Bonneville. It's got that weird little star point on the front. So she decided to go red, white, and blue, guys. This was all her idea on going uh, American theme colors. She wanted to do something a little little different, flames and stuff like that. It, looked, it didn't turn out half bad, so she's pretty stoked. She's This is her first derby of the year, so she's pretty happy on getting out on the track. Uh, it's just a bone stock class, guys. Uh, there might be some cutting I have to do, like on the fenders here. I have just a couple welds. Nothing spectacular, just to hold the fenders together. They might make me cut that if they do. I got tools to cut it quick. Uh, very, like I said, very quick build. Uh, this car was actually already stripped. I had it running. It just didn't run very good. I swapped the four barrel carb. It was originally a two barrel. I swapped the four barrel onto it. And then it, the knocking just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And eventually she just kind of said, nope, no more. And then poof, done. So then I spent the rest of the couple days getting the motor pulled, swapped the new motor in, wired everything up, she's good to go. So I was actually having issues with this motor. The block pump went out. Uh, it was a brand new one too. I swapped it out, put that one in, and it broke actually. So that's why my truck wasn't running worth a crap because that block pump broke. So since that broke, I basically had to decide to put a new one on or I want the probably the smart route and I deleted it. I just put a uh, Edelbrock car, uh, inline fuel pump in. I got a it's like a it's basically like a Holly carb. It's not one though. Got that in. Everything's wired on zip tied down out of the way. So we will see how this thing runs, guys. I literally finished this thing last night about nine, about nine o'clock. And that was after putting, after work, come home, stay out into the shop until about 1130 midnight every night. So it's been a long week. Uh, I got some big tires on the front. I know you guys don't like that. I like putting them on there it gives a little stance there the suspension is not welded so it's got bounce so i believe having that extra height is going to help with the bumper and if it bounces it won't go very low because the tires are so tall that's a, that's my opinion um i don't think i was allowed to weld the suspension but i'd have i'd have to double check the rules i uh, had 
I didn't have to make a custom drive shaft. I almost did. I was like just under what I needed for length. She's in there tight. I know that's not good, but she's in there enough that she should be able to get out on the track and have some fun. Uh, I got some skitties on the back. Uh, frame is notched. I didn't do my my creasing of the side of the fender that, or uh, of the hump there. I'm gonna see if if the hump goes. That way, I know doing that little bit of creasing and stuff is actually a good thing. I don't know because I've done it on multiple cars and I have not had issues with it. Like the humps don't blow out; they blow, either blow in, or they or they just compress and they kick like down a little bit but they don't blow into the tire every time that or not every time but a lot of times when i don't do it it always kicked into the tire so i'm gonna see if this actually is true or not if if she ends up getting that far in uh into the derby uh no nine wire was allowed are allowed to go around the frame if i find out that you can do it then i will do it at the derby i brought some extra nine wire so if i find out that you can then i'll just wrap it quick and be done with it uh left the back bumper on it's just aluminum so it's either gonna fall off or hopefully it just falls off but basically what i want it to do is kick up and in right away and then Hopefully she goes. I do have it slightly pre-bent already up. So maybe she'll kick up higher then and then hopefully go at the secondary notches and keep curling in. But we will see. Uh, you're allowed six strands of nine wire on the trunk. I only do four. I mean, I could do one more. Like I could do one there, there. And I always just do two at the speaker deck that holds everything down and it keeps everything out of the uh like basically keeps everything from popping up and blocking your view uh no creasing no nothing was allowed at this show so a very stock show so nothing too spectacular but honestly she turned out really nice guys i'm pretty stoked on how she's gonna do hopefully she has some fun uh, basic cage, nothing too spectacular. Floors are actually pretty clean. This car is actually pretty clean for the most part. I was running into some issues with uh, uh, putting the new motor in. Uh, the drive shaft was hitting the top of the tunnel there. So I cut where it was hitting and then I put some bars over to protect her just in case she would tip over that way. Hopefully not, but at least I have some protection there now. I patched a little floor pan here. There basically it was not that much for rust holes, but enough to just want to patch it quick. Uh, hand shifter or a floor shifter. We were originally we're going to run the stock one, but decided to go the other route once we learned that the motor was no good like this was going to be a very quick like don't care build just good enough that she can go out there and have some fun but she'll be running the number 15 i will try to get videos of this show uh but i cannot guarantee that i will get all the videos guys but there you go guys uh she will be running a 76 impala bumper if i remember right I believe that's off the off of an Impala or it's an 80s Impala bumper I can't remember what it came off of or where I even got it so but there you go guys hope you guys enjoy the video uh well actually hold up I got more stuff to do I totally forgot about this one so basically uh I went to Waconia I want to go wreck the car and the truck. I wrecked the truck. Didn't do too hot, but I wrecked the truck and I didn't even get to run the car. The starter went out in it. So 
there isn't really much of an aftermath video. So once the starter went out, I basically was screwed. I tried, I, I, hunt, I hunted for a new starter. I, we even tried to rebuild the one that was in there. I got it to fire once and then she quit on me. Like she uh, stalled and then I couldn't get her to refire. So basically this car never got the run. So, so now that uh, this shows here, it's basically the same rules. Maybe you can do a couple other things. The only thing I've changed on this car is I've notched the rear and I've, I slightly tucked it and I gave it kind of a, a weird little, like, I guess you could say like a J or something like that. Just going to try it out. See how it goes. If it, if it uh, breaks, it breaks. If not, we'll see. Trying something a little different. Um, she's, I guess you could say it's more of a, just a quarter tuck instead of a half tuck on the trunk. But uh, the only other thing I think I gotta do to this thing is uh, fix, uh, seal, uh, seal out my tank a little bit better. Otherwise she's pretty much, uh, pretty much good to go guys. But nothing has changed on it. I'm basically going out there to have fun and seeing if I can junk this thing on about one hit. But there you go, guys. Uh, not much to say about this car, but other than I changed up the rear end. But I'm pretty stoked to see how this thing does. I was a little disappointed in not being able to run, but now, now that I'm able to uh, get out there, it's gonna be fun but there you go guys a little new car video and an update video for you guys thank you guys for watching my videos i appreciate it hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe button if you're new to this channel and we'll catch you guys all in the next video